nuclear glass all over the earth that exists in that time period. It seems like something happened that reset civilization. Deep within the heart of Africa, a team of intrepid scientists recently embarked on a journey that would forever alter the course of human understanding of the continent. What they have just discovered will send shockwaves through the scientific community. Unraveling ancient mysteries, the quest for knowledge has brought them face to face with the unknown. What could possibly send shivers down the spines of those who dedicate their lives to unraveling the mysteries of our planet? Could it be an ancient relic, a long-lost civilization, or perhaps something even more unimaginable? The questions mount and the answers remain elusive. Join us on a thrilling journey as we delve deep into the heart of Africa, witnessing the discoveries that have scared scientists. The Dendera Light There is no doubt that early Egyptian civilizations made advancements, Archaeological evidence shows their excellent town planning, expertise in funeral practices, and construction of pyramids without advanced technology. Some believe aliens helped them build the pyramids, while others think they had advanced technology. Historical evidence is lacking due to the Egyptians' secretive nature. The Temple of Hathor at Dendera supports the idea of their secret technology. Inscriptions on its walls depict a priest standing on lotus flowers, holding a pole with a serpent emitting rays of light. People surrounding the priest suggest they witnessed a miracle. Historians propose an alternative theory, suggesting the depiction represents an early light bulb. The snake is seen as a filament and the lotus flower as a socket. This theory, known as the Dendera light bulb, remains popular due to the Egyptians' secrecy. While there is no archaeological evidence of Egyptian electricity, the theory suggests they had limited access to the light bulb. It is possible that the priest destroyed the light bulb after the demonstration, leaving no tangible evidence. If true, this challenges Edison's credit for inventing the light bulb, Lake Natron. Lake Natron in Tanzania's parched northern region is a unique and deadly lake. Unlike any other, parts of it sometimes turn red. It is caustic and alkaline due to the nearby volcano, making it poisonous to most animals. Dead animals and birds surround the lake. Lake Natron is also known as Tanzania's deadly red lake. Cyanobacteria in the lake's water release toxins, causing damage to the brains, systems, and livers of animals that consume it. Birds are enticed by the lake's mirror-like surface and dive into it, resulting in their death. The animals and birds that perish in the water become mummified replicas of themselves. Lake Natron gets its name from its high sodium carbonate content. The lake's color varies from deep red to orange due to algae blooms. Flamingos thrive in this lake due to their protective skin. The lake provides a safe breeding environment. Fish and invertebrate species can survive near the edges. Visiting during the dry or rainy season is ideal, but swimming is not recommended. African village where humans mix with crocodiles. Crocodiles are deadly hunters in the animal kingdom. In a small village in Burkina Faso, people casually sit on these fearsome reptiles. Over 100 razor-toothed creatures share a pond in Bazul, about 30 kilometers from the capital city, Ouagadougou. The villagers grew up swimming with the crocodiles and claim they don't bite. This unusual relationship with the predators goes back to the 15th century when the crocodiles led the villagers to a hidden pond during a severe drought. Now, every year, the villagers celebrate and thank the reptiles, making sacrifices and asking for good health, prosperity, and a successful harvest. They believe the crocodiles have a mystical connection with Basul and consider them as their ancestors' souls. The crocodiles serve as an early warning system, crying out when something bad is about to happen. Skeptics visit the village to witness this extraordinary bond between humans and crocs. Visitors can buy a chicken to entice the crocodiles out of the pond for a photo opportunity. Africa splitting in two to form a new ocean. East Africa is home to remarkable geographical wonders that attract tourists. One of them is the East African Rift System, composed of the Western and Eastern Continental Rifts. Stretching from Ethiopia's afar region to Mozambique, 
This active rift began millions of years ago and splits at a rate of 7 millimeters annually. Volcanoes frequently erupt along the rift, providing insights into continent breakup and suggesting the formation of a new ocean. Eartha Harley, an extremely active volcano, features one of the world's longest existing lava lakes and is among only eight of its kind. The Victoria Microplate, an invisible wonder, is a rift branch of the East African rift system. It includes deep lakes and volcanoes and has recently been found to rotate counterclockwise with respect to the African plate. The Y-shaped end of the rift near Djibouti and Eritrea is gaining attention as the probable location of a future ocean. This area, associated with active volcanoes like Adarali, indicates a transition from rift to ridge. The continuous eruption of Eartha Harley suggests the formation of a new narrow ocean basin with a mid-ocean ridge. The Fantasy Coffins of Ghana In Ghana, death is often seen as a reason to celebrate rather than a grim subject. The people of Ghana use unique coffin designs, such as cars, airplanes, fish, and cockerels, to honor the deceased. Despite the somber nature of the job, coffin makers turn it into an art form. These fantasy coffins serve as functional burial containers that reflect the person's profession or status. For instance, a lion design represents a chief, an airplane honors a pilot, and a microphone-shaped coffin pays tribute to a musician or broadcaster. Creating a fantasy coffin is a labor-intensive process that can take up to two weeks. The measurements must be precise to provide enough space for the body, and the coffin is meticulously constructed and smoothed. The finished product is then painted or sprayed. These decorative coffins have become a cultural export for Ghana, primarily to the USA and Europe, and can cost up to $1,000 each. Ghanaian funerals are more than just rituals. They are considered part of the culture and a celebration of the person's life. Funeral gatherings resemble joyful parties with dancing, drinking, and dining. Recently, dancing pallbearers have become a popular trend, adding a lively touch to the proceedings as they sway to the music while carrying coffins on their shoulders. Spooky Dead Trees Many people walk past trees every day without thinking about them. However, trees in Africa can be spooky, especially among the towering red dunes of Namibia. In the central Namib desert, there is an area called Sosusvle, known for its alien-like landscape. The red dunes surrounding the area get their color from aging over thousands of years. Sosusvle itself is a large salt flat with a hard and arid clay layer when dry, but sticky and plastic when wet. Every five to ten years, when fed by the nearby river, the area becomes wet. However, the water doesn't drain, earning it the name Place of No Return. Nearby, there is an even older and more lifeless place called Dead Vle, or Dead Marsh. It is home to some of the world's tallest dunes, reaching heights of up to 1,312 feet. Denver, another nearby area, used to be like Sosus Vle, but the climate dried up around 900 years ago, leaving behind scorched black trees. Despite the desolation, there are still salsola shrubs and narrow melon clumps surviving by absorbing morning mists. One of the main attractions of this area is the clear skies, perfect for witnessing stunning sunrises or sunsets over the massive red sand dunes of the Namib Desert, the untouched rainforest. While the Amazon rainforest is the largest and most well-known, the untouched rainforest found in Mount Liko. Mozambique holds the title for being untouched. In the 21st century, it's difficult to find an undisturbed forest, but a team led by Dr. Julian Bayliss discovered one on this mountain. Using Google Earth, Bayliss, a conservation scientist and butterfly expert, noticed a small forest on Mount Liko. The team, consisting of scientists, logistics experts, rock climbers, and filmmakers, embarked on the Mount Liko expedition. Accessing the mountain was challenging due to its surroundings of farms, plantations, and woodlands. There were no paved roads or hostels, just rivers, machetes, and dirt tracks. Despite the locals' knowledge of Mount Liko, its steep walls made it nearly impossible to reach the top, preserving its untouched nature. However, the explorers found partially buried ancient pots near the water source, indicating that someone had been there in the past. The team wondered if analyzing the soil could help date these artifacts and determine the history of the land.
Goliath frogs. Goliath frogs are enormous frogs found in Africa. They are the largest frogs in the world, growing up to 12.5 inches long and weighing 7.2 pounds. These frogs start out small as tadpoles, similar in size to regular frog tadpoles, but they keep growing until they become adults. The adult Goliath frog is much larger than other frogs. Despite being older than humans, we still have much to learn about these massive frogs, such as their lifespan, and if there are different types of Goliath frogs. They live in small groups in the rainforests of Western Africa, close to fast-flowing rivers and waterfalls. Like most frogs, Goliath frogs need water to survive. They come out at night and search for food on river rocks. They eat insects, crustaceans, fish, and other amphibians. Surprisingly, one scientist found a bat in the stomach of a Goliath frog. Goliath frog tadpoles are independent and feed on a specific plant near waterfalls and rivers. This limited diet might explain why these frogs are only found in a small area, Eye of the Sahara. The Sahara Desert has a unique geological formation known as the Blue Eye of the Sahara, also called the Reichat structure or the Gelbert Richard. It resembles a massive bullseye. For centuries, only a few nomadic tribes knew about it. The Gemini astronauts captured the first photographs of this formation in the 1960s while using it as a landmark for their landing sequences. Later, the Landsat satellite provided additional images and data on its size, height, and extent. Initially, geologists thought it was an impact crater from a space object colliding with the surface. However, they now believe it is a geologic dome containing rocks over 100 million years old, some predating life on Earth. The formation began when the supercontinent Pangaea started to separate, allowing the Atlantic Ocean to flow into the region. Today, scientists and geologists visit the Eye of the Sahara to study this unique geological feature. Due to its remote location with minimal water and rainfall, the Eye is not threatened by human activity. Mysterious Blue Stone of Pure Oxygen Italian geologist Angelo Pitone visited Sierra Leone's Kono region to investigate its potential as a diamond-rich area. During his study, Pitone made a remarkable discovery, a mysterious blue stone with white lines on its surface. The stone intrigued Chief Schobertoni, who considered it one of the most enigmatic stones he had ever seen. The stone's origin puzzled Pitone, but according to a tribal legend, it was linked to a celestial event. The legend explained that when a revolt among God's angels occurred, they were cast down to earth along with a portion of the sky and stars. Test results surprised Pitone, as the stone was neither turquoise nor officially identified. Analysis revealed that 77.17% of the stone consisted of oxygen, with carbon comprising 11.58%, silicon 6.39%, calcium 3.31%, and other elements accounting for the remaining percentages. This extraordinary blue stone defied classification, presenting a captivating mystery. Seven Colored Earth of Shamaral In Africa, there is a small area in Mauritius where you can find a rare and beautiful sight called the Seven Colored Earths. Unlike the common rainbow colors in the sky, this patch of land displays all seven colors of the rainbow together. It proves that brown is not the only color of dirt. These psychedelic dunes are surrounded by forests and spread out in distinct colors – red, brown, violet, green, blue, purple, and yellow. The formation of these dunes is a result of rare volcanic activity that brought different elements together, each with its own unique hue. Despite heavy rains in Mauritius, the dunes retain their separate shades and avoid erosion, which remains a mystery to scientists. The colored earth of Chamorel has become a popular tourist attraction in Mauritius, enhancing the island's beauty. Visitors can admire the scenery from observation outposts along a wooden fence, as climbing on the dunes is not allowed. This phenomenon is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful and fascinating sights to behold. Underwater Waterfall Illusion As a traveler, you may have seen famous waterfalls like Niagara Falls or the stunning Firefall in Yosemite National Park. But have you ever witnessed an underwater waterfall? Mauritius surprised the world with a captivating discovery. 
an underwater waterfall that appears submerged in the ocean. However, it's not a real waterfall. It's just an illusion visible from above. Mauritius is a young island situated on a raised ocean shelf with a gradual slope leading to a sudden 2.5-mile drop to the ocean floor. This unique marine topography creates different shades of blue due to the movement of sand and silt deposits along the slopes. The so-called underwater waterfall is actually an optical illusion formed by these deposits, sliding down the slope and plunging into the abyss. It gives the impression of pouring water or the island being pulled into a vast drain. Capturing this illusion from the shore is challenging, but from above, you can witness the apparent flow of water. Tourists are offered helicopter tours to experience this breathtaking effect. Moving on to another remarkable sight, you've probably heard of Stonehenge, something familiar to many people. Stonehenge in Africa. In Salisbury, England, there is a famous collection of large stones called Stonehenge. But did you know that there is another Stonehenge in Africa? This African Stonehenge is just as mysterious and many things about it remain unknown. It is called the Stone Circles of Senegambia, and it is the largest group of megalithic complexes ever recorded. There are 1,053 stone circles and a total of 28,931 monoliths in the area. These stones can be found in Gambia and Senegal. Some of the circles are recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The stones cover a territory over 100 kilometers wide and 350 kilometers long along the river Gambia. No one knows for sure why these stones were set up, but scientists have dated their installation between 927 and 1305 AD. Each stone is about 2 meters tall and weighs up to 7 tons. One of the most puzzling aspects is how these heavy stones were transported without lifts or vehicles. The Queen of Egypt. Egypt's pyramids hold many secrets, enticing archaeologists to uncover their mysteries. Numerous teams have embarked on ambitious ventures to solve these enigmas. Some have succeeded, while others missed the mark. These archaeological missions provide our primary source of knowledge about the mighty Egyptian civilizations. Despite our extensive understanding of ancient Africans, we still don't know much. In 2015, a Czech team discovered a tomb belonging to an unidentified queen in the Old Kingdom Necropolis, southwest of Cairo, Abu Sir. This finding fills a gap in the Egyptian archives, as previously there was no evidence of this queen's existence. The inscription on her grave indicates she was the wife of Pharaoh Neferi during her time. Egypt's antiquities minister, Mamdou el Damati, named her Kentika West III. While her personal life and role in the Nefrifera kingdom remain unknown, her tomb's discovery is groundbreaking for establishing a historical timeline. This finding confirms abuser's significance and suggests the necropolis holds more royal secrets. It is also vital for historians to study the 4th and 5th dynasties of Egypt and their scientific and mathematical mastery as they constructed the first pyramids. The prehistoric era can offer valuable insights. The mysterious Nubian stone. Archaeologists in Africa have discovered the largest collection of texts written in the mysterious Kushite language. These tablets were found at a site called Sadinga in Sudan, which is known as the City of the Dead due to its ruins, including a temple dedicated to Queen Tai, the grandmother of Tutankhamun, an Egyptian pharaoh who ruled from 1332 to 1323 BC. Although not much is known about the Kingdom of Kush, the funerary items found at the site provide valuable insights. Among these artifacts are large stone structures, including over 80 brick pyramids and numerous tombs. A research team led by the French National Center for Scientific Research and the French Archaeological Unit in Sudan collaborated with the Sudan Antiquities Service to excavate these items. Interestingly, the team discovered tombs, lintels, and steles, stone tablets used as commemorative monuments. These tablets were inscribed in Meroitic, the oldest writing system in the sub-Saharan region. While some texts have been fully translated, others remain a mystery, as each tablet reveals something remarkably strange, fairy circles. The fairy circles are large, round formations found in the Namib Desert, a very harsh and ancient region in Namibia. These circles are devoid of vegetation and are surrounded by grassy rings. They cover a vast area, 
stretching across 1,100 miles of arid grassland. The size of these unusual structures can range from 3 to 20 meters in diameter, and they can persist for up to 70 years. This natural phenomenon has fascinated experts for decades. There have been numerous theories proposed to explain the origin of these circles. One theory suggests that termites play a role in creating them. Termites consume plant toxins and remove grass from the circular spots, starting from the roots. Other researchers speculate that the plants surrounding the circles struggle to access the limited water available in the desert. The circular patches retain water, which then flows to the outer edges of the rings, allowing grass to grow. These circles remain a subject of controversy and serve as popular tourist attractions. Visitors are intrigued by the opportunity to explore and appreciate the fascinating work of nature. Baobab Tree The Baobab tree is a top choice among all trees, especially in Africa. It can grow up to 82 feet tall with a 46-foot wide trunk. When you see it for the first time, you might think the devil pulled it out of the ground, leaving its roots in the air. However, it's not just their size or appearance that makes them unique. The Baobab tree has over 300 uses, earning it the nickname Tree of Life. Its leaves are edible and can be boiled like spinach for iron. The seeds can be roasted for oil or used in cosmetic products and even as a coffee substitute. The fruit pulp is rich in vitamin C, with six times more than an orange. It can be made into juice, beer, or jam. The young seedlings' tap roots can be chewed or used for dye. The tree's bark is useful for making baskets and ropes, and it provides shade and income for locals. Africa has revealed only a fraction of its mysteries, but the journey to uncover its secrets has only just begun. So, embrace the emotions of fear and curiosity as they hold the key to unlocking the profound wonders that Africa encompasses. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.